Hey everyone, I'm Agonix here and welcome back to a brand new Unity tutorial here on the channel. So I usually don't speak in these, but today I'm going to be speaking since I feel like it will just be easier to talk. And also it will be a lot quicker to edit as well, as just having like subtitles and stuff like that, or just text showing what's going on right. That can take like, you know, quite a bit to do. And it's just quicker to have dialogue, so yeah, that's why I'm going to be speaking over this video. So today I want to show you guys these two tools in Unity called Polybrush and ProBuilder. You've probably heard of them before, or you probably haven't. Now, I've known about ProBuilder for a while, and I've never really gotten into using it, because I've never actually realized how good it is. But um, Polybrush I just heard about recently, and I was very, very interested. So what is Polybrush exactly? Well, Polybrush is a tool that allows you to like sculpt, paint textures and all that in Unity. So it's basically like Blender, but in Unity. Now I'd say Blender has more features, but this is still a really cool tool for those wanting to sculpt in Unity and make like just models in Unity, like 3D models, and not have to use other programs outside of that. Because I know, for example, right, you know, all the models I make in my games, right, they're all Unity made. I don't make them in Blender at all, and I don't use Polybrush either. In fact, I just, like, combine different Unity objects and stuff like that to make a 3D object. Say, for example, this character right here from one of my games. But yeah, so there's this Polybrush tool which I've just heard of now, and I'm going to probably start using this for some games now. So to get Polybrush and Pro Builder in Unity, it is fairly easy. What you want to do is you want to go up to the tab here, and you want to go down to Package Manager. And then once in Package Manager, you'll see all your Unity packages you have installed. So now what you want to do is you want to actually change this option here from what it is to Unity Registry. So then it's like not just your installed Unity packages, but it's like all the Unity packages, right? And then you should be able to find Pro Builder and Polybrush somewhere. So what, you, so what you want to do once you find them is you want to click on them and then click install. And yeah, you just need to wait till they're installed and you should have them on Unity. And then once you have them installed under the tools tab, there should now be two things for Polybrush and Pro Builder. And then once you're on the tools tab and you hover over the Polybrush and Pro Builder options, you can see that there are more options that appear. So yeah, Polybrush is really is a really cool tool. Here you can see me using it right now, sculpting and stuff. Now I did want to paint textures as well, but apparently I didn't have the right material or something to on my object to do that with. Now I could have probably easily done that, but I just couldn't be bothered to for the video. And plus, I mainly wanted to show the sculpting anyway. That was the main point of the video, was to show the sculpting, because I think that's just really cool, because when it comes to textures and stuff like that, you know, you can just make your own, and it's easy to add them into Unity. You don't need Polybrush really to do that, unless you do want to paint your own textures, of course, but yeah. You know, main thing I wanted to show here was the sculpting, since that's something you usually can't do in Unity, and it's so cool now that you can do it in it. I mean, Polybrush has been around for probably quite a bit now and I've only just found out about it recently but yeah honestly it's a really really cool tool also there's a smoothing tool as well so you can smooth out objects and whatever also this could probably be a good um, option as well if you want to make terrain you know instead of using unity's average terrain tool since in my opinion I find that to be quite slow this is a much faster method of making terrain and stuff so yeah so now I want to show you guys Pro Builder. So in Pro Builder, you can like put down new shapes and whatever. And what's cool about Pro Builder as well, as well, right? What's cool about Pro Builder as well, right, is you can select the amount of polygons that you want on your models you're trying to create. And there's like a bunch of different sorts of shapes as well, you know, like there's more than just your standard Unity shapes. And like I said, you can change the amount of subdivisions there are, like with the polygons and stuff like that. Here we have a sphere, for example, which, as you can see, I'm changing the subdivisions on it, and it's changing the amount of polygons, which is really good if you're trying to make, like, a low-poly game, because I know Unity Sphere, for example, is not really low-poly, 
So yeah, having this now is pretty, pretty good. Because I mean, in, in a blender, you can do this as well. You can add in spheres or shapes and stuff and, you know, change the amount of polygons on them and whatnot, the amount of vertices. But yeah, now you can do that in Unity. And what's cool too is you have certain shapes here like door and you have pipe. And those are actually really, really good for people who aren't that good at making certain objects. Because I mean, to make a doorway, it's like not too hard, right? But to But to align everything, it can be kind of difficult. It's something I always try to avoid doing in games is making doors and stuff. But, you know, unfortunately, you have to at some point. And yeah, now with Pro Builder, I'm actually just going to use this from now on when it comes to making doorways and whatever. Because it's just so much more simple, you know, you can just get the door shape and yeah, easy as that. But yeah, there's there's quite a lot of things you can do with these two two tools. Pro Builder, there's probably a lot more you can do with than Polybrush. But yeah, so I'm not going in depth on them today, you know, I just want to talk about them and, you know, the basics of them basically. So... If you're interested in M2 tools, be sure to get them. Like I said, it's easy. You just go into your package manager in Unity, and then you go from your installed packages to the Unity registry, you know, just all of them in general. And yeah, you just get them from there. So anyways, guys, that is the end of this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.